you are not alone. Uh, the international media is not alone in this endeavor. We have got us our problems with our media here. We will continue praying for them uh, so that they can be able to report things properly. Eugenia Kirago was talking about the comments that I made yesterday about Mitumba. I want to see a Kenya whereby every Kenyan can afford decent new clothes. Yeah? Here in Remuru, Eugenia Kirago, even in Misri, and farmers and Karanji, I want to see those people wearing clothes made here in Remuru that are affordable. And I have no regrets about that. Once we create jobs here, everybody can afford our clothes. And in any case, and I'm saying this because in my other capacity, I'm an exporter of clothes. And I know we export clothes to, um, to the US much cheaper than what Mitubas are selling here. Nobody wears Mitumba because they want to wear Mitumba. One, because they don't have enough disposable income. Two, because they don't have an alternative. And three, because they don't have jobs. And I'm going to attack all those three. The noise is notwithstanding. Even the people who are telling me about Mitumba, they don't even know where Gikomba is. If you tell them Gikomba, they'll go to Google to find out where Gikomba is. So this, 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 this uh, I don't know what to say because I will remain focused on my job. And I will create jobs. I ensure I create 5 million jobs in our textile manufacturing industry, including here in Remuru. And when people get those jobs, they can afford to buy new clothes. And those new clothes, they will make them themselves. And I want to make every Kenyan, I want to give every Kenyan young woman and man an opportunity to be able to make their own clothes and sell the rest to Julius and the people of the United Kingdom. That is the conversation we need to have. We need to have meaningful conversation about how to change this country and create real wealth and income for our people. We are not going to do that when we are led by hysteria, by emotions, by pontification. It's just somebody from their air condition on a keyboard, on a, on, on a 20, 32 characters or whatever it is, and you think you can just you know, defocus us from our agenda. We are very focused people, and we are not going to deviate from our agenda to create jobs, to grow manufacturing, and to create real incomes for our people. You know, in the, my other life, I was a politician. So I have finished the era of speaking and preaching and all that, but uh, so, yes, the same commitment and the same stubbornness that you know of me in the other life, the same one and a half until I kick out poverty from this country. And I have no shame about it. 